told me I had to get my speech approved. But luckily, I brought this other speech with me. <laughs> Just kidding, Matt. Same speech. Okay, so, um, so here we are. We did it. We graduated. I don't know if you guys are surprised as I am, to be where you are as I am, but, or the people in your lives are as surprised as the people in my lives are. But uh, let me be the first one to congratulate you on all that you and all that we have accomplished. When I came to Maryland, the only thing I was really good at was talking. So for that reason alone, I decided to go into broadcast journalism. Some would say that here now, years later, that's still all I'm good at, but I'd beg to differ. I would say my time here at Maryland has taught me a whole lot more. Oh, and it has taught me so much. I learned how to do the soldier boy dance on Friday nights I spent in Cornerstone and the Thirsty Turtle. I learned how to train my body to get by for weeks at a time on old Ratsy's pizza and ramen noodles. I learned how to heckle opposing football and basketball teams in a way that was right on the line of funny and inappropriate. And I learned how to write 2,000 word papers on three and a half hours of sleep. Well, that is what I've learned, I think, that we have learned a lot together here as members of the Journalism School. To all my fellow undergrads and my uh, professor, Lorente, I'm sure you all remember your first day of Journalism 201 <laughs> as vividly as I do, thinking to yourself, so if I spell a word wrong on this paper, I fail. <laughs> and there's no spell check on the computers. What the hell was I thinking picking this as my major? But the wonderful class we all know as News Writing and Reporting 1, as well as all the other classes we took here in our time, taught us more than we could have ever imagined on that first day of class. A lot of the things we learned actually replaced the things people had been telling us for our whole lives. We learned not to be polite, and that if you call a source enough times, no matter how much you get on their nerves, eventually they'll give you the quote you're looking for. We've learned that when things go wrong, or the proverbial crap hits the proverbial fan, it doesn't matter because we've known for the last four years there was no excuse our teachers wanted to hear on why our story or report wasn't done in time. And for the next 40 years, our editors and producers will not want to hear those excuses either. We know that we've picked a profession that isn't going to make us popular and likely isn't going to make us rich. We know that our first jobs are going to be on the night shifts and we're going to have to get by on ends meet for a couple years, but that's okay because at our time here, we've also learned to be passionate. A good friend once told me, what is life without passion? After my time here at Maryland, I've never agreed with that more. As journalists, we are fine with getting on people's nerves, people not liking us, working crappy hours, <laughs> and not making millions, because we are passionate about doing the work that no one else wants to do. We are passionate about uncovering the truth, we are passionate about asking the questions that no one else wants to ask, and we are passionate about asking those same questions enough times until we find the answer. So as I leave you here today, that's really the only advice I can give you. I'm no smarter than any of you, and there are probably quite a few of you more qualified to be up here than me. But the one thing I can say is go live your life with passion. Some of you will go on to be the top journalists in the country and around the world, and some of you are going back to grad school because you want nothing to do with journalism for the rest of your life. <laughs> but whatever you do, do it with passion. I'm passionate about sports, music, my friends, my family, and my faith. Figure out what you're passionate about and pursue it, because if you do that, then you'll be happy. And if you're happy, then nothing else matters. Thank you and God bless.